Welcome back to another tutorial of QGIS in the GIS World Academy. In this tutorial, I want to tell you one of the newest functionality of the QGIS which is powered by the CZM, adding the 3D tiles in the QGIS. In order to use this uh, functionality, the, most and the, fir the first and the most important thing is that you should Take a look at the version of your QGIS. You should use the latest version of QGIS. At least you need uh, to have 3.34 in order to bring the 3D tiles inside the QGIS. And the second important thing is the data. Maybe some of you are not familiar with the concept of the 3D tiles or it is the first time you want to explore it. So. Uh, I will uh, CZM make it very easy. You will find this uh, GitHub repository. I will add the link to the descriptions of the video. You can take a look at it. I have already used it, so we can use the same data set. Okay, then uh, how you can how we can import the data? The most easiest one, the using this toolbar, which is the data source manager toolbar. So if you cannot find it, it's very easy. Just click on the top of uh, the QGIS window panel. Then you will find in the toolbar data source, data source manager toolbar. After that, just click on it. Then you will have, oh, what happened? Okay. Then you will have the source type. In the source type, you will have a file and services. In this tutorial, you want to make it a very easy part uh, but don't forget uh, in the data source manager toolbar first of all we should go to the scene uh, uh, section and inside it you will find these two parts and then we wanna make it very easy we will use the file then after that we will just go to our folder so i have already downloaded 3d tile samples so 1.0 just this and then you should go to the a request volume, then we will select the tileset.json, then we will add it. Perfect. Yes, now you have the 3D tiles inside the QGIS. One thing that I want to mention you is that uh, the location of the disk building. As you know, for the 3D visualization, always we have the center. And then if, for example, now my focus in my map and in my layouts right now is this building. I want to have the 3D visualization from this building. So if I want to have the rest of the building plus this building, so I will put a building on the top. So when I am rotating and around this center, so I have a complete view from the front and left and right side of this building. Okay, then with this button, a new 3D map view, or you can easily use the Control Alt M. So when you are clicking on this button, so the 3D part will be pop up. The 3D window part will be pop up. It's it's really great. So you have a lot of options uh, to work with that. So you can go up and down with this tool. You can also have uh, this rotating part, but the most easiest way, if you want to zoom in and zoom out, so you will use a control and shift. And then if you want to change the direction, so you can have it like this. Then also maybe I can have a little bit zoom, again, control shift, a little bit, again, I will come down and yes, I think, it's a very nice view from the this building. Then we have a lot of functionalities again here. You can take a PNG from that. Uh, you can make a little bit like uh, animation. And then you can also have your measurements. You can have your the first estimations, the height of the buildings, or we can have a length of the windows like this you see it's a very easy and a lot of other functionalities yes uh maybe i can duck it somewhere good you see you have two parts the 3d parts the combination of the 3d and 2d parts yeah it's really nice 
Uh, another part, and also don't forget, you can add whatever you want to that. If you want to add OpenStreetMap, Google Maps, Bing, whatever you want, you can also add it. The combination of the 2D and the 3D inside your layout. Okay, now it's time to create a very, very simple layout to see that, okay, what will happen there. So, tile set. And, okay. Good, maybe I can change this uh, to the A3. I think now it's good. First, uh, I wanna add the map, so we, we can have two time, we can separate it into the two parts or three parts uh, anyway, but it is not really right now my aim. I, my aim is that just to show all of you the combination of the 2D and 3D visualization inside the QGIS. Good, and maybe I can just manually extend a little bit, change the extend, zoom to this part, and maybe I can put it right now here. Ah, I think it looks good. Uh, after that, maybe I can have a, a little bit more focus on this building, so I will just add this 3D tile here. But you can see that it is not connected because here is a 3D map 1. But if we go to the QGIS, here it's a 3D map 5. And so just click on this and change it. Perfect. Here you can see here you have your map. Plus here you have a 3D video, a 3D visualization of this building. I think it's enough for today. Thanks again for your time and all your attention. Just stay tuned with us from the in the coming weeks, we will start a CZM complete tutorial, CZM JS. So if you are interested in this topic, don't forget to subscribe our channel. So see you soon all in the next video. Bye.